I think about it. agriculture is what's happened in my lifetime, which is the for productivity of an acre of land has gone up about 300 percent. And if it weren't for that, there'd be a lot of starvation on Earth. So the ag system is one of the most interesting things that has happened in the last 60 or 70 years. And we literally tripled the yield from an acre of land. And we did it all over the world. You know, and there was just a few people who did it, the Rockefellers, Borlaug, and so forth. And it was one of the most remarkable things in the history of, in the whole history of the earth. And we need another doubling, and we're probably gonna get it. And it's absolutely incredible how well we've done. And it's amazing how efficient our farmers are. We don't have much socialization in farming. We get a bunch of people who own the farms and manage them themselves. There's not much waste in stupidity in farming. Now, people complain that we're using up the topsoil, which I think we are. And I think that's way more of a mistake. I would fix that if I were a benign despot. But leaving aside the, the way we're using the topsoil up too fast, I think farming is one of the glories of, of civilization. So I think it's been wonderful what's happened in, in, in farming. Now, in terms of subsidies. It matters to the farmers whether they get those subsidies. And there's no question about the fact we've protected our farmers with subsidies and that the farmers we're protecting are getting richer and richer because the farms are owned by fewer and fewer people, own more and more acres per person. So it's very peculiar that we're subsidizing a bunch of people who are already filthy rich to use up our top seven a little faster and create stuff that we turn into ethanol, which is one of the stupidest ideas the world has ever, I, you know, I, I, I'm a specialist in stupid ideas, but I would say turning corn into gasoline is about as stupid an idea. I would almost rather jump out of a 20-story building and think I could fly than turn ethanol, turn, I mean, corn into gas, into, motor fuel is really stupid and and yet that's what our politics does and i've got no cure for the stupidity of politics and if i did the world would be quite different but, but i think that's pretty minor whether we have subsidies or not the main thing that's happening that has enabled the present population the world to stay alive is this agricultural revolution and this very good management of our farmlands and the improving agricultural standards in the rest of the world. And it's gone on quietly because they haven't even noticed it hardly. How many of you are just deeply aware of the fact that grain per acre is going up by three or four hundred percent? That's a huge stunt. And by the way, if you take those marital seeds and don't use hydrocarbons, the yields are lousy. We, we're feeding ourselves because we know how to turn oil into food. That's one of the reasons I want to hold on to the oil. Something that can be turned into food is quite basic. And so I don't mind conserving it, the oil instead of producing the, every last drop as fast as one can. And I, it's odd that my idea hasn't spread to more other people. I may have three or four people who agree with me in this room, but, but you're a bunch of admirers. In the rest of the world, I'm all alone. <laughs>